I'm here at the New York Audio Show with Steve Rowell. Steve, you're with Audio Classics. You started Audio Classics. I'm really, really pr proud to introduce all of the viewers to you and what you do. Can you tell us more about Audio Classics and what you have at the New York Show today? Audio Classics was started back in about 1979, part-time, and then full-time in 1983, dealing in primarily at that time Macintosh audio gear. Um, it's long been known as the finest audio equipment in the world and it enjoys a very high resale value making a product that's great to buy and resell and that was the basis of our business. Each product that we buy we bring in we test it on the test bench we make sure it meets or exceeds its original factory specifications if it does not we fix it bring it back to original factory specs we clean them we bag them we present them like they were when they were new. Mm -hmm. We'll service products all the way back to 1950. This is one of the preamps that started it all. Mm -hmm. This is a C8 mono tube preamplifier. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, this one we've worked on and we've used it even with our $250,000 Macintosh system today and it mm -hmm. sounds great. Mm -hmm. It's a tube preamp. These are some examples of early Macintosh products. The C22 preamplifier, which has long been sought after, is a very high co collectible mm -hmm. tube preamplifier. Mm -hmm. This is an MC240, 40, 40 watt per channel tube amp, sold new for about a hundred and excuse me, yeah, hundred and ninety-eight dollars. Now it's about four thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Uh, and this is the latest version of the Macintosh 275, one of the longest production amplifiers probably made started in the late 60s and it's still being made today. Mm -hmm. um, 75 watt per channel tube amplifier. Mm -hmm. Macintosh, it is, uh, it is the Rolls Royce of audio equipment. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. How about the rest of the system? What do we have here? Alright, what we're showing at this show is the uh, Legacy Aero speakers. Uh, these speakers are um, about $20,000 a pair, which in today's world of speakers is a real bargain. Mm -hmm. uh, the quality of fit and finish is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're made in the USA, which mm -hmm. is important to us. We're a company that believes in that wherever possible. Mm -hmm. uh, these speakers uh, do come with an active DSP, and they have built-in uh, subwoofers. Mm -hmm. uh, we're power powering them today with our own amplifier, which is an Audio Classics. Mm -hmm. 9B. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you may get an idea of where the styling yeah, we come sure from. Do. Yeah. Um, it is a stereo amp, unlike the original. Mm -hmm. This one is 80 watts per channel tube. Okay. Uh, can be strapped for mono, okay. 160 watts, and um, sounds superb. Again, made in the USA. That's a beautiful look about it. Oh, it is. It really is, and it's uh, 8,000, which is reasonably priced. That is today. very reasonably priced. Yes. And mm -hmm. we're using the VPI turntable mm -hmm. uh, because, again. Um, it's a USA company. We've mm -hmm. dealt with VPI since the very beginning mm -hmm. um, with uh, Harry and Sheila. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt was here yesterday and so it's a company we have a great deal of faith in. Their mm -hmm. products are simple, well engineered and universally acclaimed to sound and work perfectly. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, we're using today on the system a Macintosh C2500 preamplifier mm -hmm which is a tube preamp, but it also has DAC inputs as well, mm -hmm. digital inputs. Um, we're using the Macintosh MCD500, and I might add that these components are all used. These are samples of what we get in. Understood. We, uh, Understood. People trade them up, and okay. again we clean them up okay. and bring them up to spec and mm -hmm. use them. Um, at the bottom we have the new Mac MR88 tuner, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see that it has an analog dial like the tuner classics of the past. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a beautiful tuner. Yeah, it sure um, is. Unfortunately, tuners these days are going the way of the dodo bird, but uh, they're still beautiful and there's lots of material out there. That's right. We live in the Philadelphia area and we have two radio stations that are just uh, outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not a lot of compression on the stations. The, son the sonics are wonderful and I use my tuner all the time. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, and yep. it's wonderful to just yep. be able to listen. Yep. Uh, going around the room, over here? we have uh, the new Macintosh MC152, which is 150 watt per channel mm -hmm. uh, amplifier, mm -hmm. and it does have auto formers. It looks small and light, but it's not, and it's heavy, and it is powerful. And then this is a mono version of it, which is a 300 watt mono block. Look at that. Uh, 
and again, the beautiful meters, um, it's hard to resist. Yeah, it really you know? is. So, a Macintosh MT5 turntable, mm -hmm. um, and this comes with a Sumiko uh, Bluepoint cartridge. I love the way the platter lights up with, yeah. the, with the underlighting. It is gorgeous. Yep, and how about to its left? Now, this is the new Macintosh right. C1100 II preamplifier. Okay. This preamplifier probably has the lowest noise and distortion of any two preamplifier made, period, bar mm -hmm. none. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, it just came out. It's only mm -hmm. been out for, uh, at this point, a few weeks. Oh, how about that? So, um, well, viewers, you're seeing it here first. Yeah, this is, uh, this is quite new. Oh, that's a great, great, nice debut. MXA 70. Uh, this is um, a new small unit that's typically used by people in their offices. Okay. Uh, can be used as a headphone amplifier or in a small office system or a small system anywhere you'd like. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Next to that is the Macintosh MC75 60th Anniversary Edition. And it has a gold tone chassis. Um, just a beautiful amplifier. It uses essentially the same power supply as the MC275 Mark VI, or power supply, I should say. So this amp is capable of a great amount of power output. Wonderful mm -hmm. unit. Mm -hmm. And of course, infinite channel separation because of having two separate because chassis. It's, yeah, because it's a mono block. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next to that, you have, um, we have a C48, which is, um, but again, a solid state preamplifier, and it also has digital inputs, and the current MCD 550 CD player, and on the end, the MA6600 integrated amplifier. How long has that been in the product line? Uh, that's been in a few years mm -hmm. now. Um, a very good amp. We've sold a lot of them. Uh, people are very pleased. This one is one of the few integrateds with auto formers. With the auto formers, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the room walk walkthrough. Would uh, would you let us do a little bit of listening to the system? Oh, next? sure. Yeah. Oh, it, we'd love that. Okay. Anything you'd like to hear in particular? Okay. Well, we'll get an LP out and uh, let okay. you spin it up.
cellist is in the room with us. You can hear the rosin on the on the bow, viewers. Just beautiful from Audio Classics.